Have you ever wondered about the clash of the titans in the world of programming languages, Java and Kotlin? Let's peel back the layers of this intriguing rivalry. Java, the veteran, has been around since the mid-90s, making it a stalwart in the world of coding. It's the backbone of many enterprise applications, Android apps, and even the Mars rover. Yes, you heard it right, the Mars rover. On the other hand, we have Kotlin, the new kid on the block, but certainly not one to be underestimated. Introduced in 2011 by JetBrains, Kotlin quickly gained popularity and was even designated by Google as a preferred language for Android app development in 2019. It offers a sleeker, more modern approach to coding with a focus on simplicity and productivity. So, in the battle of the old guard versus the new, who comes out on top? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the strengths and weaknesses of these programming titans. Java, the old reliable, has been around for a while and has proven its worth. It's a stalwart in the world of programming languages, holding its ground with a commanding presence. One of the great advantages of Java is its wide usage. It's used in everything from web applications to game development, making it a versatile tool in any developer's kit. Its extensive libraries allow for rapid development and implementation of features without having to start from scratch every time. Moreover, Java's compatibility with older systems is a testament to its enduring nature and flexibility. However, every silver lining has a cloud. Java's verbosity can be a stumbling block for many. The language often requires more lines of code to accomplish the same tasks as other languages. Moreover, the pace at which modern features are introduced to Java is slower compared to some of its contemporaries. As powerful as Java is, it's not without its weaknesses, which brings us to Kotlin. Enter Kotlin, the new kid on the block, but definitely not one to be underestimated. Kotlin's rise in the programming scene was swift and powerful. Its concise syntax is a breath of fresh air for developers, offering a more readable, less verbose alternative to Java. And let's not forget about its interoperability with Java. This means you can use all existing Java libraries and frameworks in Kotlin, which is a huge advantage. Moreover, it's gaining popularity at a rapid pace. More and more companies are starting to see its potential and are integrating it into their tech stacks. However, Kotlin isn't without its downsides. Its community, while growing, is still significantly smaller than Java's. This can sometimes translate to fewer resources and slower problem solving. But despite these challenges, Kotlin, while newer and less widespread, has carved out its own niche in the programming world. Now that we've explored both Java and Kotlin, it's time to draw some comparisons. Java, the seasoned veteran, has been around for more than two decades. It's a robust, well-established language with a vast ecosystem and community. It's tried, tested and trusted by millions of developers worldwide. It offers stability, wide-ranging compatibility and a vast array of libraries and frameworks. On the other hand, we have Kotlin, the rising star. It's modern, concise, and designed to improve developer productivity. Kotlin introduces several features that Java lacks, such as null safety, extension functions, and coroutines. It's fully interoperable with Java, which means you can use all your existing Java libraries and frameworks in Kotlin. Moreover, it's officially supported by Google for Android development, which is a significant endorsement. However, the choice between Java and Kotlin often depends on the specific needs and circumstances of the project. If you're working on a large, complex project where stability and compatibility are paramount, Java might be the better choice. On the other hand, if you're developing an Android app and want to leverage modern language features to write cleaner, more maintainable code, Kotlin might be the way to go. In conclusion, there's no definitive winner in the Java versus Kotlin debate. Both languages have their strengths and weaknesses, and the choice largely depends on your project's requirements, your team's expertise, and your personal preference. So, whether you're an old hand at Java or a Kotlin newbie, remember that the best tool is often the one that best fits your needs. In the end, the choice between Java and Kotlin isn't a battle, but a matter of preference. Both languages offer unique features and it's up to you to decide which one aligns with your coding style. Remember, it's not about which language is superior, but which one suits your needs best. 
both Java and Kotlin have their strengths and weaknesses, and it's all about finding the right fit. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep challenging yourself. And that's a wrap on our comparison of Java and Kotlin. Keep coding and exploring new languages.